Hi everybody, I'm sitting down today with Austin O'Malley and Fielder Hiss, and thanks for taking a few minutes to sit down and talk. Sure, no problem. So, one of the coolest things we're showing this week at SolidWorks World is some really interesting new technology that's coming out of our labs. Can you talk a little bit about what it is that we're displaying? Sure, so what we're really trying to do here is um, look at emerging technologies and then apply them to the problems that customers have, um, that are fundamental problems that our customers have. So the first thing, of course, is that we're all about is, um, is modeling, right? So, so people, have, people want to use our product to create great designs, so that's what we do to help them. Um, and the, the, the thing that we're doing is actually allowing people to um, take advantage of, of a hybrid approach, which will allow them to create parametric models, okay, to, to maintain a design intent, but also be able to make changes very easily. Um, the other thing we're doing is we're supporting different platforms. So, you know, whether a person has a Mac, you know, most of our users are Windows, so of course we're mm -hmm. going to support that. We're also going to support mobile devices and we're going to support netbooks. Um, and all of those things will work great together. So either you'll be able to design um, on the product like the Mac, or you'll be able to access your data remotely with the, uh, with the mobile device. So it's quite cool. Um, the next thing is we've really talked a lot about cloud computing and what the cloud is going to mean to our users. So the idea here is that people can be connected all the time and access their data from anywhere. So uh, you can imagine a person working um, at home um, in the morning and they're working on the design and they go into work and they just start working on a different computer and the design's right there and they can work from where they, where they last, uh, the la they can see the last changes they made. So it's quite cool. So do you have a name for, uh, for these new products or technologies yet? Well, you know, as Austin said, this is stuff that we're working on in the labs. We're working on really unique uh, solutions to customer problems. So we have no name for the technology that we've been working on yet. But, um, you know, we're looking at ways that we're going to bring it to market in the future. Cool. So, um, so what are the, some of those key problems that you're trying to address? Well, I, I think one of the, probably the first and, and the foremost, Austin talked a little bit about it, was flexibility. Flexibility in how you model and, and go after mm -hmm. problems. You know, capturing design intent, but still making change very simple and very easy. Yeah, yeah I think that, um, you know, users are, are, you know, sometimes they feel like when they create a parametric model that, you know, it's, it's difficult to, uh, to make a change later on that they hadn't anticipated. So what we're doing is giving them the tools where they can actually, you know, have, maintain their history, basically. So make a change um, to the model um, independent of the history, but still keep all the good feature data that's there as opposed to losing that. Cool. So, um, so when are customers going to be able to start taking advantage of some of this? Well, right now we don't have a hard timeline. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of this is emerging. There's, there's many moving parts. Uh, we have great focus on the customer problems that we're trying to solve, but we don't have a hard timeline. We expect to be able to start to bring out some of the components over the next 18 months. Cool. So something they watched out for. It's definitely something yeah. to keep an eye out yeah. for. So why is there so much emphasis on the cloud right now? I think that the, the thing is, is that it's really an emerging technology. So you see um, lots of productivity applications like photo editors, um, obviously everyone does their email using cloud-based applications, mm -hmm. people using tax software, um, and also doing word processing and things like that using Google Docs. So some of the more um, you know, basic applications you're, you're already seeing in the cloud, you know, and they really have a low cost of ownership and, and they're very easy to access from anywhere. So, you know, we think that um, that it's a good place for us to be investing, and so um, you know, we're 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 looking first at how do people access their data from anywhere and take advantage of the cloud. But we think over time that actually some of the more complex applications will also be available through cloud technologies. So, are all of our applications going to run in the cloud in the future? Well, we don't know. I think that that's going to be uh, you know, we we have to we, again. We're really pushing the, pushing the envelope with that, but CAD is complex and so you, we've seen some of the things we've done with uh, with uh, Otoy to do uh, virtualization mm -hmm. and that's quite cool I mean we showed that you can um, do uh, uh, quite quite complex um, uh, uh, make quite complex changes you can basically access the whole application um, through through a, a netbook so we think that it will over time be available but we still think it's pretty early that's really cool um, so a little bit you know closer to the future what about SolidWorks 2011 well, the customers are actually who are here at SolidWorks World are going to get a great look at SolidWorks 2011 on Wednesday. See the great enhancements we made and of course, core SolidWorks, our simulation products, and our enterprise PDM product as well. So I think there's a lot to keep an eye on for SolidWorks 2011. Great. Yeah. There's also some surprises that we're going to show. So I think that's, uh, that'll be quite cool. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, the guys are going to have some fun with it, I think. Yeah, yeah. 
Austin Fielder, thank you for taking the time to sit down and talk, and, and we'll see you soon. Great. Thanks, Thanks Pat. Pat.